If the analysts are right, the oil slump has some way to go, with $20, even $10 oil seen as the next key levels. When Brent last broke through $100 in September 2014, US shale production was soaring, OPEC output was boosted by Libya, and Chinese demand was waning. Four months later, with Brent edging below $50, the impact on Russia's economy came into focus. Fitch cut the country's credit rating, citing the plunging oil price as a key factor. Last week, with Brent hovering around $30, BP announced it would cut an additional 4,000 jobs, highlighting the pressure on the oil majors. So where do we go from here? We know oil exporting nations like Iraq, Venezuela and Nigeria have been under pressure, but now even Saudi Arabia is feeling the pinch and is being forced to cut spending. At the corporate level, ExxonMobil, Chevron, Shell and Statoil have all reduced investment. ConocoPhillips loses close to $2 billion each quarter for every $10 drop in prices, according to Barclays. Of course, cheap oil also comes with benefits. India, Egypt and Indonesia have been able to slash fuel subsidies worth almost $500 billion in 2014, according to the International Energy Agency. Airlines are getting a boost, as are car makers. And it's a positive for consumers, unless, of course, falling prices lead to deflationary cycles and another headache for the central bankers.